Hi, I'm Dave Fry. I'm here at the statewide transition conference for 2019. Uh, it's a great event. We actually have almost 900 people represented here today uh, from the Department of Education, state agencies, providers, um, and we have probably almost 400, uh, close to 400 students that are here participating in the workshops today. Uh, it's a great event. Students are really here to learn about um, transition services, whether it being uh, employment services, information about post-secondary education, independent living, um, and, and really to become empowered self-advocates. So this is one of our favorite parts of the conference is where each workshop is opened by a student leader and they get up and they share what their goals are, what their strengths are, uh, what self-determination means to them, and who their adult ally is somebody who has their back who gives them advice and share what that advice is. So out of the 25 workshops we have, the first two, three minutes belong to these students where they get up and they share the, uh, what it is the student voice. They are empowered. Self-determination means I get to make my choices. I get to decide what happens. When we talk about on the term, and we really just simplify the idea uh, of self-determination. It doesn't need to be a complicated process. Self-determination ultimately is getting the youth, the parent, and the teacher on the same page. Uh, we talk about it as a cog, and the youth is the biggest wheel in the cog, and that's the most important. But without the parent and the teacher working together, uh, self-determination is not going to be achieved at a, for the greatest outcome for the student. But the biggest message of the day is, if I can do it, you can do it too. But self-determination, you got to see it to be it. So um, I'm thrilled that these students are with us. They're on our cover of our program this year because they are the center of our work. Our job as adult allies is to launch every one of them into a career in which they were destined to live. Hi, I'm Amy Hoggy and I'm the Transition Coordinator for the Smyrna School District. And it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Matthew Love. Um, one of my students who has become quite an excellent self-advocate. This is Matt's second year at the conference. He was very hesitant about participating last year and in introducing somebody, and I kind of forced him into it. And this year he did a great job. He's introduced, what, three? Uh, two. It's going to be three by the Two. End It'll be three by the end of the day, and he's become very comfortable with it. So, Matt, talk about what you've learned from this experience. So, from the Delaware Transition Conference, I have been able to learn how to self-advocate my, for myself through multiple ways by getting different accommodations, which I thought was necessary for me. But also, the conference has taught me to be more confident in myself when public speaking. Because before I just used to be the nervous like jitterbug, well, I always had like a clicky pen or something in my hand to like just click to make me less anxious. And now since I've done this for the past two years, the conference has gave me a lot more confidence within myself. Next year's event we actually have scheduled um, for Wednesday, December 9th. Um, we've got that date booked because registration fills up so fast. Uh, Typically, we open registration in November. Um, this year, we had registration open for less than two weeks, and we got uh, 850 plus people registered in that time. Um, so next year's conference is Wednesday, December 9th. We hope, hope to see you there.